But with some sad news here, 11 people, among them three police officers, were killed in fresh clashes in Jaldesa, that's in Marsabit County. The attacks, according to county leaders, are believed to have occurred in the wee hours of Wednesday morning by armed gunmen from within the local areas. At 5 a.m. Wednesday morning, 500 heavily armed men are said to have attacked the villages of Jaldesa and Didbiresa in Marsabit County, killing 13 people, among them three police officers. The three officers were manning the Jaldesa village, while the other eight victims were heard as at Dead Biresa. Apart from the estimated 800 cattle said to have been stolen during the attack, the gunmen also made away with firearms from the slain police officers. The number of uh, the policemen were seven, two killed, two still missing. We cannot keep on crying every other day. We cannot keep on barring people. Months after months. According to Marsabit County Commissioner Evan Sachoki, the disarmament process has already begun. However, it is an exercise that does not augur well with leaders from the region who say it has only left their people vulnerable to armed criminals. It is important for us to have our local home guards who understand the environment, who understand the, the language and the culture of this community. They are support system for for the police officers too. So their service has been withdrawn and uh, that is why we are experiencing, I think, that contribute also to frequent tribal conflict and uh, what is happening today. The planning of the twin attacks is one the leaders insist that the security officials in the areas were aware of as they were retaliation attacks following similar incidences in recent weeks. I wonder how 500 people can come and attack people without the government on the ground noticing their presence. People on the ground have been talking about this. I wonder how the security team on the ground can deny the attack that has come at this particular time. This is not external aggression. This is from within the county. <laughs> the eight herders who lost their lives in the attack were buried this evening. Bodies of the three police officers remain at the Marsabit Referral Hospital morgue awaiting a post-mortem examination. Marsabit leaders now want the government to act expeditiously to avoid further suffering of residents in the county. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.